Hey, it's Jennifer from Happiness is Homemade 4 and welcome to my channel. Okay, so in my last Dollar Tree haul, I asked if you'd be interested in seeing a pumpkin using the wire pumpkin wreath form from Dollar Tree. So, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Majority of you answered yes to the pumpkin and to the scarecrow. So, scarecrow we will do another time. We are gonna do the pumpkin today. So, okay, so you got the Dollar Tree wire. I am going to use one of these from Dollar Tree, either this kind of greenish gold or the brown. These are so pretty. See the glitter, the sparkle. They don't have a lot of fallout. So, one of these. Okay, so I'm going to use these pipe cleaners. You can use any color that you want. I got this color from Hobby Lobby. Then, okay, I use this deco mesh from Hobby Lobby. It's $7.99, but I always get it when it's 50% off. So every other week, it's 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So $7.99, half off, I pay $4 for this. It is 10 inches by 10 yards. So if you were to use the orange from Dollar Tree, you're probably gonna need two or three of them. Depends on how full that you want it. Like I said, so I use this beautiful orange. Got a little, little shimmer to it. I'm gonna use Raffia from Dollar Tree. And then I just have two different ribbons that I'm going to use. You can use whatever ribbon that you want. Okay, let's see. I got a little bit of burlap right here. All right. <laughs> That's it. So, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to try this angle. All right, so I'm going to take my first pipe cleaner. What you're going to do is you're going to put one at the top of each one of these brackets. And you're also going to do the exact same thing to the bottom. But there's a trick. Okay. So what I do is, I go in from the back, go up like that, and then I wrap it around one time, then I come back through on the opposite side, bring it back up, and I give it one tight twist. Okay. That way, this will not slide side to side. It is right there. It's not going anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go in from the back. Okay. I'm going to come up. And then I'm going to wrap it around. Go on the opposite. I come up. I'm just going to give it a nice little twist. See? Just like that. Once again, this isn't going to slide and go side to side. I'm going to go in from the back, and then bring that up, and I'm going to bring it back down on the opposite side of this bar. So it's down like that, come back up, and give it a nice little twist. That's it. Okay. So once again, I'm going to come in from back here, push that in there. So that's up. So now I'm gonna, that's up like that. I'm gonna push that back through, and I'm now gonna come in on the, this side, the inside. So like that, bring it up, and just give it a little twist. Okay. Hopefully you can tell what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so once again, I just wanna make sure that you can tell what I'm doing. I'm going in, from the back. Okay, so I went in on this side of it. So I'm going in right here. Okay. Now, I got these wheels pushed up. Now, this one, I'm just going to flip over and I'm going to come back on this side. Pull it up and just give it a twist. Just like that. Okay. Go in from the back, bring it up, and I'm going to take this one, push it down to the inside, and push it right back up, and just give it a little twist. Okay, see, I've got all the top done. 
So you're gonna do the exact same thing to the bottom. Always go from the inside, push it up. Okay, now I'm gonna take that one and I'm just gonna push it right back down in on the opposite side of that bar and just give it a little twist. Okay. I'm gonna keep doing this so you know, maybe you'll catch on a little bit easier. Make sure you can kind of tell what I'm doing. So once again, I go in from the back. I bring it up. Okay. So everything is in on this side. So now I'm going to push this one down and go on the opposite side of that little bar. And just give it a nice little twist. Okay. Same thing. Go in from the back. Bring that up. Go around the bar on the opposite side, push it back up. And just one little twist. Okay. So in from the back, bring it up, twist it around once, just to push that down in there. Okay. And a little twist. Okay. Once again, going in the back on this side. Push that down through, pull it back up, and a little twist. Okay, so last one. Go in from the back on that side. Okay. Now I got them up. I'm going to take this one, and push it down around that, and back up. Okay, and I'm just going to put one little twist. Alright, so those are securely attached. So this right here is 12 pipe cleaners. Alright y'all, <laughs> we are seriously sitting on the floor in the kitchen because I'm no professional, I'm no professional YouTuber. <laughs> I would love to be someday, but I don't know how to do all these camera angles, so we're sitting on the floor. <laughs> I'm going to put you behind me so you can see as I'm doing it because I want you to know exactly what to do. So, all right, <laughs> let's do this together. Okay, so I'm going to take my mesh from Hobby Lobby. Like I said, if you get this, do it when it's 50% off or use your 40% coupon. Okay, so I'm going to use this whole entire row. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up. Now what I do, I'm just gonna pinch me just a little bit of a tail. Just kinda get that together. I just want this little bitty. So I've got this. This first one right here on the edge. Very first one, whatever side you wanna work on. I go left to right, but if you're a lefty, you may go left to right, or right to left, whatever. Okay, what I do, take this. I take this little bit, and I just put it right down there. Okay. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to give me one tight twist. Okay. Just one to kind of hold that in there. Now, I'm going to take this. I'm going to go. See how it's kind of going around towards the back? Okay. And then I'm going to come down here. Okay. So now I'm going to come down here. To this pipe cleaner. I'm gonna do once again one tight little twist. That's it, just one tight little twist, just to kind of hold that in place. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull that back turn to the back. I'm gonna come straight up the back, and I'm gonna pull that tight just to a straight line, just like that. Just pull that straight up. And I'm gonna come back to my very first tight knot again. One little tight twist again. That's it, just one little twist. Okay. So now that I have that, I'm just going to straighten it out a little bit. I'm going to come back down. And I'm going to go straight down to the next one. And I'm just going to give it one tight little twist. Just one little twist, just to hold it on there for me. Okay. So now I'm going to take it tight. You kind of have to have patience too when you're doing this stuff. Just pull it kind of tight. Go straight back up the back. So we come to this one. Like the 
bottom. Okay, so we'll pull that down. I'm gonna give it one little twist. Right. Kind of mess with it a little bit. You kind of, like I said, you have to have patience for this. Right, little, little twist. Okay, let's go back at the back again to the next. And by, do, by doing this, it just makes the back look nice also. Especially if you have like a glass door that you're gonna be hanging it on. My front door has a big glass window. Okay. I'm gonna do it with one tight little twist. Okay. All right, up it out. I'm gonna come down to the next one. Give it a tight little twist. And then go straight up the back again to the very next one. And you just kind of keep doing this. Okay. All right, so I have that like that. Just give me a little tight little twist. See how it's coming together on the back? Okay. Now I'm just gonna Bring it down, kind of fill it out. I'm gonna bring it down to the next one. Okay. Do a tight little twist. And then go straight up the back to the very next one. Just one little twist. Fill the back out. And I'm going to come to the very next one again. Put that back down in the inner knit. And just give me a nice little tight twist. Okay, so I'm going to come straight back at the back. And I'm just going to do one tight little twist. Okay. And kind of fluff that out some. Go over. Okay, this is the end. So I'm going to kind of make sure that I go around it and loop it towards the back. I have that. I'm gonna go to my very last one up here at the top. Okay. Yeah. Pull that tight. One more tight twist. Okay, so it's looped. Now, because you can still see the wire through it, that's why I'm gonna go right back and do the exact same thing that I did. I'm gonna use this whole entire row. Start back, I'm at the back again. I'm gonna pull it tight. Okay, <laughs> I'm telling you, your mesh is gonna get all twisted, you're gonna get frustrated, but it's okay. <laughs> so, you just, you know, sit on the floor, put on a movie, put on some music, and just have fun with it. But, okay, so, I'm gonna come straight back at the back, and I'm just gonna put another tight little twist. That's why I'm only doing one twist, is that way my knots don't get huge. Okay, so one tight little twist. Okay, so that was the back. Now I'm gonna fluff it back out. Fluff it back out and come right back up. Come up to this top one. And give me a little tight twist. I'm going to go straight down. Just give it a little tight twist. I'm going to come up. Okay, so I just kind of fixed mine a little bit because it was just getting so twisted. Okay, so got that at the top, which is very full. I'm going to bring it down here to my second row. A pipe cleaners right there. Okay, so I got that. Alright, twist that loosely or tight. Twist that tight. Once again, I'm kind of straight up. Go right here to this one. Give it a nice 
nice tight little twist. And I'm just gonna kind of go back around behind the stem for the third set. Put that in there. Straight up the back to this one. Put that down in there. Nice tight little twist. To this one. Put a nice tight little twist. I'm just gonna go straight up the back. Down. I'm going to twist that. Just take it down. Okay, once again, I'm at the end. Here's the end. So I'm going to go over and make sure that tucks are in the back of it. Alright, so I'm going to go down to my last set right here. Okay. Tuck that down in there. Nice tight little twist. I'm going to come straight up the back again. Okay. Pull it straight up. Nice tight little twist. Okay. Yeah, you can kind of look at it. Fluff it around. I'm going to take this last little bit and I'm just going to come down with it. So I'm at the end of it. Get any tape off here. Okay, so this last little bit. I'm just gonna go straight down at an angle, straight down around the side, and I'll just do it on this very last one. Okay. And then a nice tight little twist. Alright. Yeah, what you'll do is just kind of fluff it. That's with it. Make sure you kind of got your pumpkin little shape to it. Okay, that's it for the pumpkin. Now, what you want to do is, all of your little pipe cleaners, just go and give them a couple of tight little twists. That way everything is secure. Go ahead and do all 12 of them. Just give them you know, two or three little twists. That way nothing comes undone. A little tight twist. Same thing at the bottom. Give them all a couple tight twists. This little tail, I'm just gonna kind of tuck it back down and get a little tight twist on it. Kind of keep that down. Okay. Like I said, just all of them, make sure you give them two or three extra little tight twists. Okay, so now what you want to do is Take some scissors, wire clippers, whatever you want. Just, okay, top of your twist. Just kind of cut you a little off. Okay. So I just have that little bitty left. See that? I just have that little tail. All I'm gonna do is push that tail down towards the back, like towards the inside. Just give it a nice little, little push down. See? It's nice and clean looking. I'm gonna do the same thing for all of them. Just leave a little bit of a tail. Okay. So they each have like a little bitty tail. Like I said, I'm just gonna push it down and towards the inside. Just give it a nice little pinch. Just push that towards the back. Push that down. Push that. See how clean makes all that look? Okay. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom. All right, all their little tails. I'm just gonna now push you in. Push to the bottom. This little tail that keeps sticking out, I'm just gonna push that down 
inside. Okay, so we push that down and in. Push that down. Tuck them all in so you don't even see them. It just looks nice and clean. Okay, so see, that's the back. You know, the back is nice and clean looking. That way, like I said, if you have a glass door or anything, it's nice and clean. Okay. And then here is the front. Looks like a big full pumpkin. All right, now we're gonna decorate it. All right, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're just gonna keep this casual. I'm just staying on the floor. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna teach you to do the bow for this pumpkin. Okay, let's go ahead and see it again. Now that we're like kind of this angle. But do you see? It's like the perfect pumpkin. See that? Perfect shape, because it goes higher. See, it's so pretty. And then the back is so clean looking. You know? Okay. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this olive green ribbon that I have, it's kind of like a cream colored polka dot. Like I said, you can use any ribbon. And Dollar Tree right now has some great fall ribbon. So, okay, so I'm just gonna open this up. This is two and a half inches wide. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take this ribbon from Hobby Lobby, and they have it again this year. And um, this was $7.99. It's 40% off right now. I think when I got it, it was 50 But okay, so I'm going to use this. Okay, so I'm going to take my ribbon. I'm just going to leave me, I'm going to pinch it. I'm going to make like a six inch tail. So I just pinched in my fingers. I'm going to give it one little twist. I'm going to fold this up to make my first little loop. Okay, okay so what's in my fingers? It's pinched. I'm just going to give it one little twist and bring it up. And I'm going to pinch it again between my two fingers. I just want to make sure that my loops are about the exact same size of each other. If they're not, just kind of adjust it to be on the same size. Okay, so my loops, same size. So yeah, while that's still pinched, so I'm going to give it one more little twist. So I'm going to make another, another loop, the exact same size. Just kind of basically lay it right on top and bring it back up and pinch it again. Just keeping all your loops the same size as each other. So I have all of this pinched right here. Just give it one more little twist what's in my fingers. That way it brings the polka dots back to the top. Lay it down for the exact same length again. Okay, so now I have four loops in my fingers. So I got those. Now, if you can keep holding it, go ahead. If not, just take you one of your pipe cleaners, put it right down in the middle, and just kind of give you a little twist just to hold it for you. Okay, that's gonna hold it while I make do my next ribbon. Now this one's gonna be very easy. This is the exact on same, this the exact on both sides. So you don't have to worry about twisting and flipping and all that stuff. I'm just gonna do me a little tail. And I'm just gonna do one loop, come up, another loop. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is two loops on this. Make sure they're the same size, and that's it. Okay, so. I have this pinched in my fingers. Get my next bundle. I got my other bundle. Okay. Take that pipe cleaner off. Oh, I have all that in between my fingers. I'm going to lay this right in the center of it. I'm going to lay that right in the center. I'm going to take my pipe cleaner, lay it across, go right back down the center. I'm holding everything really tight. I'm going to bend it complete. Completely fold it over like a bouquet. Okay. Now I'm just going to hold that. I'm going to pinch it really tight. Give it a few good twists because you want it to stay tight. Okay. Now, there is my bow. It's on my ribbon. I just kind of flip it. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you, as long as you've got this pinched, 
right in the center. You got that pulled nice and tight. You can fluff and move these however you want. They are not going to come undone because that pipe cleaner is holding everything together. Okay, so there is my bow. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off my tails. Just kind of, once we get it on, we'll kind of fluff and adjust it too. But so I got that. I'm going to set this to the side. Now, for the stem, what I'm going to do is I've got this um, kind of like burlap deco mesh. Um, Dollar Tree sells, you know, Dollar Tree sells the burlap. You can use that. This is cut about 18 inches. This is just a scrap piece that I've had sitting around. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of roll this up. And I'm just going to pinch it right in the center. Okay. I'm going to take one of my pipe cleaners and just right there in the center of it. I'm just going to bring that up and just give me a couple tight, good little twists around the center of that. And I'm going to take, take my stem and I'm just going to wrap this right around the front of my stem. And then I'll kind of adjust it. Now, so it stays attached all right now. All I did right now is just kind of put it right in the front. But what I want to do is, and what you want to do is, take this, loop it around on the inside, and then bring it back around nice and tight. Okay? That way it does not go up and down off of this. So I've got that. I'm just going to push it on the inside of the pumpkin stem, pull it back around. Okay? So that's not going to go anywhere. And just pull those tight and just kind of give you a couple good tight little twists. And there is my stem. And then you'll see once we get the bow on, it's going to look even better. So I got my stem. Now I'm going to take my pretty bow that we just made. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to wrap it around the stem. Okay. So it's around the stem. So once again, I'm going to go back on the inside of each. I'm going to go back on the inside of the stem. I'm going to push them through. Okay. So now I'm going to pull those nice and tight. I'm going to bring it there and I'm going to give them some good, tight twists. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> I love doing this kind of stuff. And I love doing it with you. And I am seriously trying to learn how to like, to share and show you. So please be patient with me. <laughs> like, I've got these great ideas and I wanna share, I wanna share with you. I just, I need to work on everything else. But, okay. So, like you can kinda see our stems popping out. And then what you wanna do is you kinda fluff your bows. Once you get your ribbon on here, and just kind of fluff with it and play with it. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to trim up the ribbon somewhat. So I'm just going to fold this over. And I dovetail it. I just, the side that is folded, like where your crease is, you're going to cut up at an angle towards the open side. So you fold that over. And cut up. See, it makes a nice little dovetail, kind of like a V. I'll do the same thing to all of these. Cut where the side is folded, and cut up at an angle. I'll do the same thing. I'll fold this over. I'm going to cut on the side that is folded up at an angle. See, I've got one more to cut. Up at an angle. Okay, now I always use wire ribbon. It's wire ribbon, so I can bend it. I can make that stick and do whatever I want. Okay, so see if we have that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some raffia and add raffia to it. So you get this stuff at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I just kind of grab me some of this. stuff that is cut off. I'm just going to grab in my hand. 
So just have me a bundle kind of like this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to take another little pipe cleaner. I'm just going to take another pipe cleaner. Wrap that around there. Do that. Just give me another tight little twist. And I'm just going to kind of stick it through here. Now if you, I didn't think about it. I should have added it to my ribbon, but no big deal. I'm going to stick this through here. Take that through there. Okay, you can see where I have an opening. I'm just going to stick it right through that opening. I'm going to push this through. And just put it through to the back. And I'm just going to give it a couple good tight twists. Alright, and then I'll just kind of fluff out my raffia. You see how pretty that looks? Adding that to it just gives it a little extra something. I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, so we got that. Now, once again, you're gonna take all of this stuff that you have back here and just trim it. I'm gonna cut this that I have. Give me that little, little tail. And once again, I'm just gonna push everything down. You see? Nice and clean. Right. Okay, so we have this. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add two of these, kind of, it's kind of like a greenish, goatish color. So we're gonna do two of these. And the best thing about these, they're on a clip. So they're on a clip. So all you have to do is take this clip and go right into your mesh. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of go underneath my bow. Give me a... Attach it. Okay. So there is that one. I'm going to attach one over on this side. Once again, I'm just going to take that little clip. I'm going to go right into the deco mesh. Okay. And kind of fluff it back out. And there you go. All right. So you give me some tugs. It's not going anywhere. That is really secure. But look how beautiful this is. Yes, I'm going to say it because I think it's beautiful. <laughs> but all right. So I want to show you. Look. There's a side view. There's the back. There's the other side. Of course, of course the front. But look at the ends. Look how nice and clean the ends are too. Okay. So, yeah, another little thing that you can do is take another pipe cleaner and just right up here, the top of the stem, just put this through here. Just at the top. And just kind of make your pipe cleaners kind of even. And it's just the ends about right there. Just kind of give you a, a couple little twists. A couple good twists. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, push it towards the bottom, and now you have a door hanger. Okay. And then you can just hang this right on your front door. So, all right. <laughs> so this is a long process, but once you get it down, you'll make them a lot faster. But I know this video is very long, but I wanted you to see exactly how to do it. <laughs> and I'm looking around. But I just want you to see, you know, exactly what to do. So, but yeah. Yeah, so let me know what you think. Alright, yes, I think it's beautiful. Yeah, but you can make multiple of these using different ribbons. And then it all be completely different. You could give some as a gift. But they're beautiful. So. Alright, so that's it. I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.